Hi there, if you're watching this video, I believe you're interested in the RCGP ACT exam. And in this video, I'll be sharing insights into how you can achieve a high score in the statistics aspects of the exam. Particularly for those with very little background knowledge in the area of statistics, I thought it wise to share some insights to help streamline preparation for the exam. But just before we dive into that, I want you to know that these videos are also available on the channel. And if I were you, I would definitely watch them as well. There's an introductory video to the AKT statistics exam, key resources to know at the beginning of GP training, what I wish I knew before starting, how my study group achieved 100% pass in the exam, the type of questions to expect according to the RCGP AKT team, and things to do before each rotation. This video is part of a series of videos in which I'll be talking about key resources out there that you could explore free ones and the ones that require subscription. I'll also be talking about how to study smart for the exam, bearing in mind that we have little time available. I'll be talking about how to quickly answer questions when it comes to statistics as well. And importantly, easy ways to memorize the formulae for statistics. The RCGP AKT team has been very kind enough to give a guide to the statistics aspect of the exam. And there's a document available to give a fair idea of things to note for the exam. So there's a PDF document um, which highlights important areas to consider. So as you can see here, there are some statistical terms that you should be familiar with, including absolute risk, absolute risk reduction, ARI, bias, blinding, case control studies, confounding, and so on. There's a long list here, which will help you tick your boxes when you are revising for the exam. And I'll be talking about a few of them shortly, so please stay tuned to the end. And if you want to have access to this document as well and are finding it difficult, locating it on the RCGP website, drop a comment and I will ensure that you receive the link to this page. In addition to the information given by the RCGP AKT team, there is the 14 Fish AKT Education Package available on the 14 Fish portfolio, but it's a paid subscription. So if you've already got a 14 Fish portfolio, you can log in and have a look, look at the prices. And if you can afford, you can also decide to look at reviews of people who have used that as well to make an informed decision. There are videos on clinical aspects of the exam as well as statistics aspects of the exam. Aurora Medical Education has free videos on social media which cover the clinical bits and statistics bits of the exam. You can look into that as well and on their websites as well. I know they have paid subscriptions to the AKT exam packages and the eMedica Excellence in Medical Education team also has Free videos on YouTube on statistics, which you can look into, as well as paid subscription, which works for some people. And in addition, I came across a medical statistics book, which is named AKT Revision Guide for Statistics by one Dr. Fard, which is available online, which is concise and made of about 24, 25 pages, which could help you quickly memorize, especially getting to the end of your revision Starting off with basic concepts, let's look at types of studies, case control studies. This study asks what happened. These are observational and retrospective. Compares a group of people with disease to a group without the disease. Looks for prior exposure or risk factors. Measures. Odds ratio, OR. Cohort study. This study asks what will happen. Observational and prospective compares two groups, one with the exposure and the other one without exposure. Looks to see if exposure increases the likelihood of disease. Measures, relative risk, RR. Cross-sectional study. This study asks what is happening. It is observational, collects data from a group of people to assess frequency of disease and related risk factors at a particular point in time can show risk factor association with disease, but does not establish causality. Evaluation of diagnostic tests. This uses a two-by-two two table you should memorize, comparing test results with the actual presence of disease. TP, true positive. FP, false positive. TN, true negative. FN, false negative. Sensitivity. Always remember snout. Sensitivity rules out. 
proportion of all people with disease who test positive. It checks the ability of a test to detect a disease when it is present. Used for screening in diseases with low prevalence, specificity. Spin. Specificity rules in. Proportion of all people without disease who test negative. Specificity is the ability of a test to indicate non-disease when disease is not present. Used as a confirmatory test after a positive screening test. For instance, for sensitivity and specificity, remember N for P, P for N. So for sensitivity, N for P, it means that P, true positives, will be on top. And for specificity, P for N, so true negatives will be on top of the equation. Now, sensitive people always calm down. So let's look at the table. So sensitivity is going to be true positives over true positives plus false negatives. And specific people are proud and go up. So for specificity, we move upwards to true negative over true negative plus false positive. Positive predictive value, PPV, proportion of positive test results that are true. Positive, probability that person actually has the disease given a positive test result. Negative predictive value, NPV, proportion of negative test results that are true negative. Probability that person actually is disease-free given a negative test result. Let's look at likelihood ratios. Likelihood ratio for a positive test result. How much the odds of the disease increase when a test is positive. Formulae. Sensitivity divided by 1 minus specificity. Likelihood ratio for a negative test. How much the odds of the disease decrease when a test is negative. Formula. 1 minus sensitivity divided by specificity. Thank you so much for watching and I believe you found this useful as usual. Don't forget to drop a like to encourage me to come up with more videos. I'm definitely working on other videos to help you revise and to help you study smart. So please don't miss out and don't forget to share with colleagues.